prisoner. Most of them, I think. Century duty. The other tribes are cowering after the embassy battle. We should far later.
can't grasp. She's trying to play with us. Oh, I'm quiet now. Good. Constantly on alert. I think one of these structures is a command center. All clear. Grub has been stale lately. I need new supplies. What's the word? 
There's nothing Hikaru can throw at us that will make a difference. I guess we scared them all. I heard that! You like... You again! Get help! Now! Together! Just... Get back! No! Take this. Right. Hey, I'm here to help. Stay low and follow my lead. I'm okay. Just catching my breath. Get back to that command 
command center. If the rebels are planning an attack on Baron Light, it has to be stopped. Later, for sure. I might trade for something good.
Ready for anything now? Loyal Tanakh, hear me. I was told a soldier from this camp goaded one of the sons of Prometheus into an altercation. You would do well to remember that our allies are responsible for providing the machines that we shall ride to glory. The next fool who interferes with them will be eviscerated and left in the desert for carry-on. There will be no second warning. Will that be sufficient? Yeah, that should prevent your people from butting heads with mine. You have my thanks, Regala. May our pact lead to victory. So Regala's not working alone. These sons of Prometheus gave her the ability to override machines.
been accumulating blaze. And from what I saw out there, enough to blow up something big. big enough to fit an entire army. So Regala plans on invading the Sundom. At least when she gets an army big enough to do it. Gonna blow up all that blaze. Baron Light should be safe. For now. Just need a moment. No, you see me. Sister? Yeah, no harm. I've heard of your adventures. I can My armor can help. You've returned from the west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Radiant beams of the sun. And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> 
bring Olvent here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvent. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. And you almost drowned your other miners. And sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the Crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched-out forged dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh! No. Don't want you! No. Don't need no. you! Don't want all <laughs> Mud looks good on you, Alvin. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. <sighs> okay. Chain Scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. Sparks fly out there. How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. 
Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. And thanks to your handiwork, I got my hands full getting this place into shape. I guess you found the right place. Guess I did. Has Tolland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. So, good. The concession decree Olvind wanted, what was it exactly? And how would it have helped him? A writ that would have put, even though they're on it, would stone it. No more writ claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvin had a stake in all those claims, it would have made not so he could have. He's a slut. I'll uh, see you around, Petra. Until next time. Welcome back. Ah, I knew I'd make a strike player out of you yet. How about this time I tell you how to use a board's terrain to your advantage? This one's got all the different terrains you can encounter in a game of strike. Knowing when and how to use them can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Terrain mainly affects your machine's combat power. As you know, when fighting an opponent's machine, you compare its combat power to yours. The higher your machine's combat power, the more damage you can do. So finding the right terrain is an essential strategy for overpowering your opponent. Here, I'll show you. Grab that piece to your left and move to attack my machines. Now let's take a look at your machine's combat power. Combat power is the sum of a machine's attack power and the value of the terrain it's standing on. Since your machine is attacking, it's using its two points of attack power. It's also standing on forest terrain with a value of one point. Add those together and your machine has three points of combat power. My machine is standing on grassland terrain with a value of zero points. It's also not attacking, which means their attack points aren't in play. So my combat power is zero. This means your machine can do three points of damage. Go ahead and test it out. There you go. Now, choosing the right terrain doesn't just improve your offense. It can also help defend your machines from attack. Grab your other piece and place it in front of my second machine. Since your machine is attacking, it's using its two points of attack power. It's standing on grassland terrain. This terrain has a value of zero. This means your machine's combat power adds up to two points. My machine can't use their attack power since they're defending their position. But they have the higher ground. They're standing on forest terrain, which is worth one point. This means my combat power adds up to one point. Now, the front of my machine is colored blue. This means that the spot you're about to attack has armor protecting it. Which means my machine gets an extra point, giving it a total of two combat power points. If we compare the combat power of both machines, you'll see that you won't be able to do any damage. Whenever you're unable to top an opponent's combat power, you can still choose to attack and break their machine's defenses instead. Go ahead, try it out and see what happens. When you break a machine's defenses, you can knock it backwards. Sure, both our machines will receive one point of damage, but knocking my machine off that terrain makes it more vulnerable to attacks. Not only that, if my machine had been blocked from moving backwards, it would have received an extra point of damage. And if my machine had been blocked by another one of my pieces, that machine would have received damage as well. That's why breaking a machine's defenses is a great way to deal damage to several pieces at once. Useful, right? 
Okay, now go ahead and end your turn. There's still one more thing I want to show you. All right, as we've seen, the higher the terrain, the more it'll add to your machine's combat power. However, there are two other terrains that work a little differently. This is what we call a chasm. Only flying machines can be placed on those. But it'll take away two combat points if you do, so be wary. This is marsh terrain. Landing on it will take away one combat power point from most machines. It'll also keep your machine from moving for the rest of the turn. Here, let me show you. Grab that machine on your left. See? All you can do now is wait for your next turn to move again. Or you can overcharge your machine to get out of there. You can still attack any nearby enemies so you're not completely helpless. Well, I think that's enough yammering for me for now. Promise it'll all come in handy next time you play. Let's do this! Your move, Red. to make my move. You're up, Red. Just one piece left. Now that was a game, even if I lost. You know where to find me, Red.
Didn't find what you were looking for, I guess? Aloy, are you looking to buy some salvage? Fire won't do much. Overriding, we should get in the surrounding area. Satellite fish. If I can climb it, I should be able to reach that tarmac easily enough. Be away. 